this is our one room schoolhouse demo for our English grammar time. Um, in this setting, we have our, old, our youngest student is about six and our oldest is 11. So that'll give you a frame of reference. All right, here's our sentence, guys. Jack rolled down the hill and Jill spilled the water. Jack rolled down the hill and Jill spilled the water. So y'all, older ones, do the best you can trying to get it um, written just from what you heard. And Jeb, you can copy what I put on the board, okay? Okay. Spilled the water? Yes. A C K. All right, I can keep copying if you're not finished yet. But Jeb, tell me, in our sentence, what do we look for to make sure we've checked our mechanics? That it's if there's a, um, if there's a um, capital letter at the beginning. Okay, so well, let's check. Do we have a capital letter at the beginning? Yes. Oh, and if we, if, or if we need to check if we have a punctuation mark at the end. Okay, do we have a punctuation mark at the end? Yes. Y'all yes. know what this punctuation mark is called? That's a period. A period, that's right. Okay? And so what else we need to check? What are our other things to check? Uh, does it make complete sense? Does it make complete sense? Jack rolled down the hill and Jill spilled the water. Does that yes. make complete yes. sense? Does it have a subject and a verb? Alright, so we'll check that and make sure we, we have a subject and a verb. Um, okay, so who would like to start us off to find our subject and our verb? How do we start off? Kelly, can you start us off? Who? Well, actually, before we do that, is there anything in this sentence anybody would like to point out? Is there anything that anybody recognizes? And, oh, hold on. Wait, let me call you. Aubrey. Um, I recognize that Anna is a family member. Aubrey, what do you recognize? Anne is a fanboys. Okay. So let's just dot that. Anne is a fanboys. What are the fanboys? A, no. Let's all say them. For and nor but or yet so. And what are fanboys? What, what's the name of them all? Coordinating what are they? conjunctions. They're coordinating conjunctions. Okay, so since we have a fan, boys, we want to check and see what is it, con yes. what is it joining together. Because what do conjunctions do? Your conjunctions conjunction join words, words phrases, phrases, or clauses, clauses together. together. So let's see what is it we're joining. All right? Callan, help me out. Jack rolled down the hill and Jill spilled the water. Okay, so what is it? Are those two, are those clauses, can they stand by themselves? Jack rolled down the hill, Jill spilled the water? Yeah. Okay, so, Preston? Uh, I think we want to mark down the hill, because that's a prepositional phrase. We want to mark down the hill? Okay, we love to mark our prepositional phrases. And why do we mark our prepositional phrases? So, because we know that the subject and the verb and the direct object aren't in there. Right, exactly. And so, Jeb, right here, down the hill, which one of these is a preposition? Do you know? Down. Down, that's right. And here, I would probably have everybody state all the prepositions, but we'll, not, we'll skip that just for time's sake. Okay? And also, to be a preposition, what does it have to have? An object. That's right. It has, it has to have an object. So down with what? Hill. Hill. So hill is the object of our preposition, and we have down labeled as a preposition. Okay? Is there anything else that anybody needs to point out before we get started on our question confirmation? Anything else you recognize, Jeb or Aubrey? Uh, Jeb? Um, Z and the other Z is an article A and B. Okay, those are article adjectives. So we'll go ahead and mark those as adjectives. And the articles are, what did you say, Jeff? Article, articles and B. A and and B. That's right. Okay, so let's do our question confirmation. Callan, get us started off. Who, who rolled? Who rolled? Jack. Jack. How should I label it? Um, S. Subject noun. Preston, next. 
What is being said about Jack? Roll. How should I mark it? Verb. Okay. Aubrey, you know what we should ask next? This is a hard one. Well, let's see. Caroline, what are we going to ask next? Jack rolled what? Jack rolled what? Nothing. Nothing. So what do we do? Verb intransitive. We mark our verb intransitive. Okay? Let's go now to our, um, well, let's, oh, let's look at this preposition, down the hill. Prepositional phrases can be two things, right? They can be adverb adjective or adjective. That's right, adverb or adjective phrases. So which one is this going to be? Down the hill. What question does it answer? Aubrey, do you know? Jack rolled down the hill. And then what question does that answer? Who, who rolled down the hill? Jack rolled down the hill, but down the hill tells us what? Where. Where he rolled. And so that makes it what kind of phrase? Um, an adverb. An yeah. adverb. Can y'all tell us what questions adverbs answer? How, when, where, why, how often, how much, to what extent, or to what condition. Okay, good. And so, let's go on to our next phrase. Okay, our next clause. Jill spilled the water. Aubrey, can you start us off with our question confirmation? We need to find our subject. Um, who spilled the water? Who Jill. spilled the water? Jill. Jill. Subject, Jill. noun. Okay, who can help us next? What is being said about Jill? What's being said about Jill? Spill. That's right. And spill. All right, and so Jill spilled what? Jill spilled what? Water. 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 Okay, what do we need to do with water before we can mark what it is? Um, um, what, is it describing or renaming the subject? All right, is water described? Does it describe or rename Jill? No. 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 Okay. So what do we mark it? The uh, direct object. Direct yeah. object, and we need to label what? The verb transitive. The verb transitive. And here I might say something like, what are the four types of verbs? And have the kids say transitive, intransitive, helping, linking. As much as possible, we like to um, review any memory work we have either from essentials or from foundations that applies to grammar. Okay? And so now, um, in our, how do we label in? As, um, a kind of, it's yeah. a conjunction, that's right. Okay, who can help everybody? Let's see if we can diagram it real quick. All right, Jeb, what do we do to start off a diagram? What do we do to start off a diagram? Go across. Okay, go across. And down. And go down. And Jeb, what comes on this side of a diagram? The verb. Nope. Wait, the subject. The subject. And Aubrey, what comes on this side of the diagram? The verb. The verb, or we also call it what, Preston? The, the, the last object. Um, no. Predicate. Predicate. Predicate, okay? And so let's do, we're going to have two diagrams, right? Because we have a, what type of sentence structure do we have? Compound. Compound. So we'll have two diagrams that we'll join together. So, what's our subject, Aubrey? Jack. Jack. And Jeb, do you see what the verb is? Uh, rolled. Rolled. Good. Callan, where are we going to put our adverb phrase? Right, um, the and. Our adverb phrase, down the hill. Uh, um, down the hill, under rolled. Okay, because it's. Because it's um, describing or telling where. That's right. Yeah. Preston, can you tell me how I'm going to join these two? Um, so by a dotted line and then a horizontal. Where I put the dotted line? Uh, under the verb. That's right. We connect independent clauses together under our verbs and put our coordinating conjunction on the line. Okay, and then we just do our other sentence. So Jack, or our other clause for um, Jeff, for Jill spilled the water. What's our subject? Jill. Nice, Jill. Kellen, what's our verb? Um, spill. Spill. And who knows how we diagram the direct object? Ooh, uh, a vertical line not going all the way down. Good job. Water. Okay, so this is how we would diagram it. All right. Now, let's pick a couple of words and see how much we can say about those words. Let's look at our... Um, spill. How about... Okay, spill. So, what kind of word is spilled? A verb. It's a verb. And what kind of verb is it? A transitive. All right, it's transitive. 
And now how about, um, is it singular or plural? Plural. Singular. singular. It's singular. How do we know it's singular? Because the subject is singular. Because the subject was singular, okay? What else can we say about a verb? Is it first, second, or third person? Third. It's third. And why is it third? Because it's There's not it. I or you. Right. Our subject was, wasn't I or you. What else can we say about it? What's the um, what's the time on this verb? Is it present, past, or future? Past. Oh, past. It is past. And what was the form? Is it simple, perfect, progressive, or perfect progressive? Simple. It is simple. Okay. All right, and then we would also do this. Uh, we, yeah, we can do the mood. Okay, what's the mood? Indicative. It is indicative. And what else? We need one more thing. Voice. The voice. What is the voice? Oh, present or um, That means active. it's active. Is our subject doing the action or is the action being done to the subject? So did Jill actually spill the water? Yes. 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 And then we might go on, if we had a sentence like this that had a direct object, we'd probably go on and um, see how to change it into a passive voice if we knew how to do that. Um, or if your students knew how to do that. So um, now let's go ahead and classify our sentence. Okay? What is our structure, we said? Compound. Okay, it's compound because we have two independent clauses joined by a conjunction. And it has to be one of the coordinating conjunctions. It has to be the fan boys, right? What is this? Water. Spill the water. Okay. And then um, what is our purpose of the sentence? What are the four purposes? Um, declarative, imperative. Okay, which one is this one? S B I. It's S uh, declarative. It's declarative, that's right. And then the last thing we want to do is say our pattern. pattern. And since we have a compound sentence, we'll have two patterns. So the first pattern is S B I. S B I. Aubrey, you know what the second pattern is? Um S B T D O. S B T D O. Alright.